Rob, uh, can, I was asking you about the, the security situation in Mali and the, the broader Sahel region. Well, the, situ the situation is quite clearly bad right across the region. Just like last week, uh, some 30 people or so were killed in, in Niger in an Islamist attack on a village. Uh, not long before that, 100 people were killed in Niger and near the border with Mali. Uh, there have been frequent attacks uh, right across the region. Mali has been particularly badly hit. Uh, we've seen in 2019, I think there were 4,000 people were killed in incidents in uh, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso, three neighboring countries in the region. Uh, various different Islamist groups operating. You mentioned one of the most important ones now, the group of support of Islam and Muslims. But there are, there's also the Islamic uh, state in the Greater Sahara and Ansar, Ansar Islam, all, all you know, playing on the frustrations of the local population. <clears throat> excuse me, with you know, problems with climate uh, <clears throat> affecting farming, with the corruption of government, uh, and so on and so forth. It's easy pickings for, for these groups. And despite the efforts of France, which has 5,000 troops uh, in, in the area, <clears throat> and despite the fact that there's a big UN presence, despite the fact that there's US special forces there, uh, all attempts to to press the insurgency across, across the region so far seem not to be getting very far. And in addition to the, the, the killings that I was talking about, hostage taking is it, big business. It makes a lot of money for these organizations. It's thought that in, in one particular release last year, uh, that Islamist groups in uh, Mali may have made about $10 million, uh, which obviously goes after that. It gets plowed back into weapons and equipment, your transport, that sort of thing. You know, this is a battle at the moment, uh, which is proving immensely difficult to win, despite the best efforts uh, of France in particular, uh, but also the United States, which I was saying has special forces in the region and is supporting the French with drones. Uh, it's proving to be a very, very difficult operation. Rob, thank you very much for that, Rob uh, Parsons there.